Hey, good evening, Team Beast. Actually, good night, Team Beast. But hello. For those of you joining us for the very first time, thank you for clicking on Beast Capacity Outdoors. I'm your leader, Team Beast, Daddy Beast, and this is... Making a jacket mold with a plaster bandage mother mold over a Star Wars bucket. Well, Star Wars costuming bucket. Yeah. What I've been doing today, and you'll see it. Whoa, I'm probably all over the place. There we go. Well, what you'll see in time lapse is what this looked like beforehand, and what to the point it is now. I'm probably going to leave it overnight for the moment. It's about midnight, right? Yep, it's about midnight. I'll probably let this sit overnight. For whatever reason, I, the Thixotropic additive, which is supposed to make the silicone rubber thick, is either not working and it's a bad batch, or I just haven't put enough of the Thixotropic fluid in it, which... I don't see how, because it's only supposed to be 1-3% to 3 of the volume of what's in the in your mix. And I've put up to 5%. And I've waited. So what I'm going to end up having to do tomorrow, because I, I need to fill in I need to fill in these parts here. Ah. There we go. I need to fill in this in here, and this, and this ridge, and all of that. I need to fill it in, and including down here, with thick paste, like, paste like a little bit thicker than peanut butter, of the silicone rubber. And that's just to fill it in so I can have a nice smooth kind of area to work with, so I can do a two-piece mother mold, which I'm going to go up and over the half point right here of the crown and don't. So that means I gotta fix this undercut and fill it in with the silicone rubber. And this back here, right in here, and all this right in here and all that down there. So and on this side. So I need to have it smooth in the front. Plus as you can see I still need to thicken it up a little bit. Got to have at least a quarter inch thick uh, rubber around the whole thing in order to have a good strong enough mold that's still flexible to where I can jacket it out. Just flip it inside out and pull the mold, uh, cast a piece out. So it will be time lapsed and all that. So that way it goes by pretty quick. It shouldn't be too long. Although I've been at it for about four hours now. So, the time lapse should go by quick. Um, and then I'll do a continuation tomorrow to hopefully finish it up to where I can let it sit overnight <clears throat> and really get a good cure on it. And then that way, the third video will be me making the mother mold and I did forget to do one thing so probably gonna be a pain in the butt I want to go to take everything apart and all that kind of stuff which I probably won't show because I'll probably be cussing a lot I probably won't show that part of the video but um, in the final video where I reveal everything in the cast and all that you know kind of thing but I forgot to put a sealant on the cardboard that I used for my standoff for the bottom, like right down here. This right down here is a standoff, so I have a place where I can do all the, the work. Um, and then get up on the edges, so I have a nice lip for when I rotocast this. So, I forgot to seal this stuff down here. <laughs> and I could have done it with a bit of hairspray or clear lacquer or 
water, water-based glue, you know, something, and I just forgot to do it. Now, the piece I have under here, um, I'm using a plastilina clay that I did to create the whole thing. Um, I don't need to, I don't need to release that. That kind of comes apart on its own. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, this is a thicker, not a thicker, a heavier shore hardness rubber that I use for all my freestanding molds. And I thought at first I might have made a mistake. I'm going, ooh, that might be a little too thick to work and, and get it right. But it's turned out very nice. As you can see, the coatings are nice and smooth, just kind of what I want. So what I'll do is once I finish the paste part of it or the thick layer of it, um, I'll let it sit for an hour or two so it, it sets up nice. But it's still a little tacky because silicone will still will stick to silicone, hands down. It's it's like latex; it'll stick to itself. Um, and so, yeah, I'll, I'll come out tomorrow, let this sit overnight, and then I got to trim all the little hangy danglies off and kind of thing. And I'll I'll work it to where I get that thing into a paste. I have to let it sit for 10 minutes where it starts to finally kick off because I have a 15 minute working time on this. Um, towards the end of the 15 minutes, it gets really thick. It gets kind of pasty and starts really sticking and dragging. So if I have to let it sit for 10 minutes with the thigh, uh, the thick, thick bleh, can't speak, thixotropic liquid in it, then that's what I'll do. So I get it to that nice, a little bit thicker than peanut butter paste. So I can paste it into these holes and get it nice and smooth and flat. A surface that I can work with, with the mother mold. So that way, you know, uh, one of the things I'm going to do before I go in tonight, though, I'm going to make up, mix up another batch because I need to make... Oop, let me see if I can reach it. I need to mix up a small batch so I can make some more of these. Um, these are basically just the bottom of the cup that I use to mix in. And what I'll end up doing is I'll pour a few of these uh, out of the cups I've already used. Uh, I'll pour a few of these and cut them in half. And those will be my keys, my mold keys. And they'll go into place over the mold on the flat spots. Just so the mold itself, uh, the rubber part, has a place to key into. So if I had a nice smooth, if I if this was all nice and smooth, like it is, but just one solid smooth piece, and I put a mother mold on it, and I didn't bother to put a key on it, keys on it anywhere, when I put the piece back in after putting the mother mold on, it might not register upright. And then I go to pour something, and because the keys aren't holding uh, the rubber in place, uh, part collapses or it, sque it squeezes out or it warps or something. <clears throat> so, on, on some of the smooth parts, once I've gotten everything nice and ready for the mother mold, <clears throat> I will stick the keys to the front, you know, two, you know, right down the front, two on the front, and a couple on the back. Um, just that way there's a place for the molds to sit. And I'll probably even sit one up right here on the center line on both sides of the ear caps uh, or ear decks where the ear caps go. Probably set one on each side. Just that way because like I said I'm going to go in half right up over this way so I'll basically put one right there. So that way you know on each side. So that way I have keys front and back on the top um, and then on the front faces here and on the back side. It, it helps hold the mold in to the mother mold when you go to rotocast. Um, and maybe I'll show a separate video of me rotocasting uh, a resin blank of this. So this will be, these will be up on, well, not this one specifically, um, but these will be up on 
our Etsy page, uh, um, Pins and Maggots Etsy page uh, shop once we launch that. Uh, we've probably got another week or two, three, <laughs> before I get everything all listed and all up on the Etsy shop and, and all that kind of stuff. It's been a long time coming. It's like we're already behind by a month. But it's like, it's crazy. I need to spend way more hours in the shop than I have been. But that's because I've been feeling yeah, icky and crappy. So, anyhow, as always, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thumbs up, not thumbs down, because we don't like the thumbs up. The thumbs down, we like the thumbs up. But if you see something you didn't like, I'm sorry, I'm tired. If you see something you didn't like, then go ahead and put the thumbs down. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. That's that little red button down below. Click that, it turns white. And if it's already white, that means you subscribe. Thank you very much, and I appreciate that. We appreciate that here at Team Beast. Now, don't forget to hit the share button, because share it to everybody around you, you know, your friends, your family, your loved ones, your hated ones, or whatever. Because there might be something I do on here, on there, on there, everywhere, that might inspire, might be cool, might be different, might be unique. And hit the little bell right next to it, you know, right next to this subscribe button, which is red, unless you've subscribed, then it's white. Once again, thank you. Hit that little bell, because that notifies you whenever I do something live, something live streaming, um, a live moment like this, or if I post a video. Because you never know, you might find something really cool.
Now, this is out of the normal for everything I do. I haven't been doing a lot of archery at all because we've been tearing up the back, uh, backyard, um, creating a garden. We've been working in the shop to get the shop ready for Etsy. And, and we just had to deal with that nasty Warden's Blank Apparel Company. We finally got a refund. So tonight we're putting in an order for shirts. So we can have shirt stock from a trusted company. I've, I've already vetted these guys. I haven't found anything online negative about them. I haven't heard anything negative about these guys. So we're going with this new company. Hopefully the shirts will be in on Monday. This will be done by Monday, hopefully. I can get some screens done. Uh, maybe do a video or two for you on that, on how to do the screens. Uh, from step, you know, from cleaning to the exposures and all that, just so you guys can see it. Uh, and of course, my weight loss. I didn't do a weight loss Wednesday last night because, <laughs> well, <sighs> YouTube was being YouTube again. We've had a little bit of weather, so I figured it out. When the weather's being bad, right here in our area, YouTube has issues with me live streaming. When it's plain and clear out and nice and warm, I have no problem with YouTube. Maybe a little hiccup here and there. So, because we had a little bit of rain this last week, now, this last week, and the weather's been kind of, yeah, YouTube might have messed up a bit. So, oh, I was up 3.8 pounds. Or 3.6 pounds, my bad. Not bad, no worries. I mean, it's been a hectic, ow, ouch. It's been a hectic two weeks since the last time I weighed in. Um, not a lot of sleep, getting everything ready. Yeah, I'm building, I mean, that, that wooden thing over there, right there, yeah, that, right there, is, part of the screen printing stuff. It's our drying rack that I forgot to do video of. And all that kind of stuff. But hopefully soon we'll, have, we'll do a full on video of us doing a full run from start to finish. You know, maybe I'll start it on a series where I do the screens first, because you've got to have the screens. I've already printed the acetates. Um, so we do a screen session. Then we can do a setup and print session. So that way you can see what we can do. So that way you can just get an idea of what we're going to be doing. And what we've been so busy on. So, don't forget to, please don't forget, let me redo that. Please don't forget to go check out my buddies, in Archery. You know, all my Archery buddies here on YouTube. Jimmy Ellis, Steve Rosberg, Sinist Archery, Primal Outdoors, Samuel White, uh, Archery Talk, Bo Junkie TV Media. Uh, and World Archery. Check them all out and you know, hit them up and like and subscribe to their pages then, you know, if you like archery. Um, hit up Laura 2.0. She's another one of the uh, friends of mine here on YouTube that does weight loss with uh, Weight Watchers like I have and Black Rose does. Um, check out her videos. Um, check out Marie Winton's and she's one of the reasons why you know, I started doing a YouTube vlog. Check her out. It's Marie Winton uh, on YouTube. She does life journeys and adventures and stuff like that. Kind of like I've been doing. So maybe soon, hopefully, we're going to force ourselves to take a break after we've launched the Etsy shop here. And we're going to go fishing. We're going to go fishing at a paper place, you know, so we don't have to pay for the license. We just pay her. It's 25 bucks to go in. But hey, you know, we'll go do a day of fishing over at Santa Ana River Lake down the street for us. But uh, I've talked enough. Hope you enjoy the video. Or enjoyed the video, I should say. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. And be good, be kind. Team Beast, all the way. Wait a minute. This way, then this, or this way, then this way. Have a good night, guys.